maybe you are longing for spring as much as I do. So here it is, a magnolia flower, a spring flower, because I hope there will be one more spring at least. And maybe you want to use it to decorate some of your gifts. We start with a magic ring of nine single crochets. I work in three colors, green, a dark pink and a light pink. Nine single crochets, close the ring and close the round with one slip stitch into the first single crochet. And now cut the yarn and take the continue with a dark pink. Fix the yarn and work three turning chains. Then five more chains. The first three replacing the first double crochet. Then five more chains. And one double crochet into that very first stitch, into the same stitch. Now skip one stitch and work one double crochet into the second stitch. Skip one and one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain five and another double crochet into the same stitch. And continue like that skip one and one double crochet into the next stitch, chain five and one double crochet into the same stitch. Continue like that throughout the round until you have five chains in total. Close the round with one slip stitch into the third turning chain from the beginning. Now continue with one turning chain and one single crochet into the first chain, one half double crochet, five double crochets to form the first petal, all into the first chain, one half double crochet and one single crochet still in that first chain, and one slip stitch in between the two double crochets of the previous round and start over into the next chain one single crochet one half double crochet five double crochets and again one half double crochet one single crochet and one slip stitch in between the two double crochets of the previous round. Continue with three more petals like this. The round ends with one slip stitch into the first stitch. So now we have a simple small flower and we continue with a lighter color. Now we fix the yarn into the back, into that one single crochet we skipped. And here we work three turning chains from back into the skipped single crochet three turning chains and of course Lucy has to be in the line. That's why the flash turns on and off. Another seven chain seven and one double crochet into that very same stitch into the very first stitch. Now we work into the next skipped single crochet from the back and 
make one double crochet, chain seven plus one double crochet into the next skipped single crochet from the back. So we need the frame for the second round of petals. And the second double crochet. And again one double crochet into the next skipped single crochet from back plus chain seven plus one double crochet. And you continue until you have five of those chains in the back of your flower. You end the round again with one slip stitch into the third turning chain from the beginning. And last round, one turning chain, one single crochet, one half double crochet, two double crochets, three triple crochets or treble crochets, chain three and again three triple crochets, two double crochets, one half double crochet and one single crochet and again one slip stitch in between the two double crochets of the previous round. That makes the first of our bigger petals. And you start over in the next chain with one single crochet, one half double crochet, two double crochets, three triple crochets, chain three, and back again with three triple crochets, two double crochets, one half double crochet and one single crochet. Again one slip stitch in between the two double crochets of the previous round and start over with the next petal. and repeat this for the remaining three chains. So the outer petals have a little point in the middle and the inner petals are rounded and here is our little spring flower. If you like you may uh, surround it with one round of single crochets but that's not necessary. So enjoy and look forward to spring.